Sean Mason. The NHL founded in 1917 in Toronto, Canada, the Stanley Cup is the NHL's biggest prize. There are 30 teams in the NHL. Um, some of the original teams included the Montreal Canadiens, the Montreal Wanderers, the Ottawa Senators, the Toronto Areas, and the Quebec Bulldogs. Um, the conferences included the Pacific Coast Hockey Association and the Western US, the, the NHL moved to the U.S. in 1924, and in 1926, America had its first hockey team, the Boston Bruins. By this time, the league had 10 teams in places such as Ontario, Quebec, the Great Lakes, and in the northeast region of the U.S. In the 1940s, the NHL cut down to six teams. These teams were called the original six, which included the New York Rangers, Chicago Blackhawks, Boston Bruins, the Toronto Maple Leafs, Hockey Night in America was the start of the NHL hockey game which was on television in America. In 1959, Hockey Gear also began to change when sticks were started to be taped and waxed and goalies were forced to start wearing masks to protect their face. The red line was also put into the game as well. The skates were revolutionized as well with using longer and thicker blades, creating a skate more safer and supportive. In the 1960s, the league was dominated by players such as Gene Rattel, Gordie Howe, Bobby Orr, and Fairchild, and Norm Ullman. These players helped shape the game forever. Gordie Howe and Bobby Orr are the two reasons hockey became a sensation in America by their play style and how they made scoring and big hits look like fun on TV. And then by fast forward 20 years later, by the early 1980s, the NHL was booming and becoming very popular not only in the U.S. and Canada, but in Europe as well, among countries of Russia, Germany, France, and so on. Then, another ph phenomenon, such as one of the fire Gordy Gordie Howe, Wayne Gretzky entered, entered the league, so-called the chosen one. He was known as the Michael Jordan of hockey. He revolutionized the game forever with his amazing pass ability, his defensive skill, and most of all, his scoring. Gretzky holds more than 60 NHL records to date and is the only player to have his number retired across the league. Along Gretzky during the 80s was Mario Lemix, Patrick Roy, Tim Carr, and with these athletes, the NHL exploded with new, high, entertaining talent and made the NHL ratings of unbelievable heights. Fast forward to the 1990s. In the 1990s, Big changes to player safety were made. NHL goalies were forced to wear the plastic ring around their mask to protect them from taking a puck or a slap shot to the net. Um, as well as athletes um, had the option to not wear a visor to protect their face on the ice as well. These changes were due to Hall of Famer and the guy I'm named after, Brendan Shanahan. Shanahan. After Shanahan retired, he became the president of disciplinary in action and came up with a new system to help support the league. To find players to suspend them for breaking NHL rules was just groundbreaking because never before the system had the NHL had a system like this before. The NHL now is so advanced from what it used to be with stars such as Rick Nash, Ovechkin, Sidney Crosby, and Heinrich Lundqvist that the NHL has turned from a small time business into a multi-billion dollar industry according to Forbes. The league makes $3.32 billion a year. that provides the highest entertainment, which is why hockey is 